We have to tell each other the truth as Kenyans. Now truth ni kwamba we are not doing well as a country. In governance and we probably are settling to the reality kwamba jamaa amechukua mamlaka kwa njia ambayo walitumia. Na mimi nasema hivi. Uchaguzi kama itakuwa 2027 naomba tuushinde mwaka ujao 2024. Because wajamaa wame, wame, wame yani ushuru kila mahali. Karibu hata hewa wameuza. Wanauza hewa inaitwa carbon sink. Hewa. Uniamini wameuza na wamechukua pesa wakaweka mfukoni. Unaona hii msitu wenu wa Iveti hapa? Hewa safi. Hii hii miti yenu ya Iveti ameangi mmedhozi ya mbeza na ku Dubai. Inaitwa carbon sink. Ulimwengu una majangili aina nyingi sana. <laughs> the people are sell amini usiamini biashara ile kubwa ulimwenguni ni ya kuuza hewa. Na tayari hewa yetu imeuzwa carbon sink every forest. Na ndio mimi nimeona hapa nilikuwa namuuliza mheshimiwa Robert ndio miti ikikuwa e, ikiwa ni eucalyptus kama ikifika umri gani lazima ikatwe ingine pandwe lakini kwanza unawauliza wenyeji ambao wamechunga hii miti miaka yote eh? mtu anapatiwa kadarasi kutoka Nairobi anakuja kumaliza forest yenu hapa and you get nothing for it therefore i'm saying even the forest service misitu yenyewe should be uh, <laughs> I don't know when the ones who are negotiating constitution 2010 we should devolve our forest misitu mahali watu wako ni misitu yao waitunze lakini ikiwa ni mtu wako Nairobi forest service anauza hewa yetu i'll give you an example chulu hills chulu kwako mheshimiwa chulu do you know how much was paid to Kenya uh, wildlife service in 2022 Eh hey, mwaka wa siasa Amini usiamini Kenya Forest Service sorry Kenya Wildlife Service because that they say ni chulu ni kwao right? na ni kwa watu wa makueni walilipwa 2 billion shillings Eh hey. Kwa hivyo na nataka mjue hiyo biashara ndio wale walagai wengi wanajua dunia inadanganywa because ukiangalia mlima Mount, Mount Kilimanjaro ambao tunatoa maji Kilimanjaro ikiharibika basi maji hatutakupata maji na Toresh kila mahali kila Mount Kenya theluji yake ikipotea eh, ikipotea hata sekura hatutapata maji uwezi ukatumia wakati mgumu kama sasa na kama wewe ni kiongozi wa nchi wakati dunia nzima iko na shida particularly African countries na Kenya hii Alafu badala ya kuwapatia watu angalau afuani kwa kupatia stimulus packages kama kusema watoto wasome bila kulipa karo wewe unatoa ushuru hata zaidi you cannot in times of depression because tulisikia kutoka kwa waziri ndungu wa serikali ya Kenya kwanza anaisimamia fedha akakubali aka kwamba this country is in a the economy is in a depression We are all in a depression. Then I asked him, in the